ever felt that your gut is telling you something? For instance, do you ever tell yourself, I can feel it in my gut? If you stick around, we'll literally discuss this phrase when it comes to your stress, anxiety, and health in general. It turns out that our intestine has many nerve endings. Scientist Michael Gershon says that our gut houses a sensitive, intelligent organ. Having these nerve cells in the intestine allows the gut to communicate with the brain. There are various scientists who describe the gut as the enteric nervous system. According to such a model, there is constant communication between the gut and brain. It turns out that the intestine is not only home to millions of neurons, but our bodies contain an ecosystem of bacteria referred to as microbiota. Dr. Stephen Collins at McMaster University is researching microbiota. He completed research with two species of mice. One species was known to be quiet and calm, and the other group aggressive. By giving each group of mice microbiota from the other, researchers could influence the behavior of the other species. Providing the aggressive mice with the microbiota from the calm mice calmed the aggressive mice down. Providing the calm mice with the microbiota from the aggressive mice made them more aggressive. Dr. Collins states that these findings provide evidence that microbiota influence the brain. Another interesting fact about the gut. 95% of our body's serotonin is produced in the gut. Serotonin acts on the brain, particularly in the hypothalamus, which is a zone that manages our emotions and takes part in the regulation of our emotions. Serotonin is one of the main neurotransmitters thought to be targeted by SSRI medications for anxiety, depression, and OCD. So can bacteria influence our anxiety and our ability to handle stress? Well, there is some interesting information in this regard. At the Center for Neurology for Stress in Los Angeles, Kirsten Tillich tested the effects of probiotics in yogurt. She found that the brains of healthy women ingesting probiotics over time responded better when shown stressful images. Tillich suggests that these findings are exciting and demonstrate the potential that taking something that can be purchased from your local market could change the brain. Researchers suggest this topic needs more research. However, the evidence seems clear that it would not hurt for one to facilitate healthy microbiota in their gut. It makes sense for one to eat a healthy diet to ensure one is getting the right nutrients vitamins, and minerals. We look forward to continuing this discussion next week when we present the next video in the series. Please feel free to use the comments section to provide your questions about stress, anxiety, panic attacks, and agoraphobia so that we can better help you. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the icon within the lower right corner of this video. You can also click the card on the upper right corner of this video and subscribe to our free newsletter where we cover the five steps to recovery from stress, anxiety, panic attacks, and agoraphobia, and much more.